Hello community, I hope you are doing good in this discussion. We will see how to create a boolean field. And in case you missed previous discussion about how to create HTML field, please check link is given in the description. And if you want to learn more about Odoo, you can visit the Wablands channel. Under the home screen, you can see Odoo 17 development tutorial is here. And right now we are working on the field development tutorial. And this is the main playlist of the Odoo 17. And in case you want to learn more about Odoo with older version with the different topics, please use this Odoo development. And once you click here, you can see different apps of playlist available with the different topic wise with the real test cases. And guys, if you didn't subscribe this channel, please subscribe. It will motivate me and it will help me a lot. So let's back to our main topic. What is the Boolean field and how we can create, right? So here, let's say if I'm going to the invoice, right and uh, let me open here the other info tab and here you can see this is the boolean box right true true and false so basically this is the boolean field and let's see how we can create also for the student profile here last time we created this html field right in case you missed please check the last discussion and here this is our main student module and here i'm going to create a one more boolean field so for that whenever you create a new field right in the specific model in the existing model or the new model first thing is you have to import the odoo import like from odoo import the fields so this package, the fields package is the main purpose of to create the fields, the different types of fields, not only the fields, but there are mixing classes also available. We will later, we will see also those topics. So here I'm going to create a one Boolean field is underscore paid. So this is the field name. You can add anything after equal to and after that, like fields dot Boolean like this way you have to create. All right. So this is paid, we have to also register in the view. So first thing is let me also add in the list view. Likewise, I'm also trying to add here. Is paid. And guys, remember one more thing. Once you add anything new field in the model level, right in the views part, you must have to upgrade the module so right now i'm trying to upgrade from the terminal minus u and the student name in case you don't know how to configure like this right in the pie chart, please check editor level playlist i already explained how to configure odoo in pycharm and how to also configure this process okay now i'm going to restart the service and it will automatically upgrade the module now I will refresh the screen here and now you can see here is paid is the boolean box is available right in the database side it's create also the boolean field okay and uncheck means it's false and check means it's true okay so this is the boolean field okay let's talk about uh, different supported attributes right the general attributes not the advanced one uh, for the advanced right the trackability then after the groups the for the security purpose and many more the widgets and all we will talk about in our later session first you need to understand how to create and the basic attributes supported by Odoo this that's it what you need at the moment so here if you see i didn't add any label name here as well as here right so by default odoo automatically take this field name as a label name the one more advantage is you can see here in the back end side we use here everything in the lower case including the underscore right but odoo automatically translate first word of each word would be always the capital like this in case you want to change the label you can use here string equal to and paid something like this 
after that you have to just restart the service upgrade the module and once you refresh the screen now you can see this label automatically change to the paid right another thing is in case you forgot about this string right the attribute in the python side still it's working fine like this i'm trying to change uh, restart the service so automatically upgrade the module and now you can see here it's automatically changed right so like this way you can change the label name plus one more thing is read only so here you can add as a one by default it's a false right restart the service and refresh the screen so read only means you can see the read only mode you cannot edit at the moment here right so this is the purpose of this read only one another one is the help in case you want to display some informations about this field right to the end user then you can just use here the help uh, this field is for this student paid or not the full fees something like this right and i will restart the service and refresh the screen so here you can see it will automatically add one more question mark right here and uh, guys you have to like i will also give you one more comparison with the older version right uh, not in the 16 version but before the 16 version there is no concept of this question mark right so over there you can directly hover here and it will automatically give you the specific field name or let's say the tooltip but in the 16th version the question mark introduced and once you hover here after that you can see this tooltip or else in the older version anywhere of this label once you hover here this your mouse cursor it will automatically display the tooltip in case it's supported okay and let's say if in case you start the developer mode right so you can see everywhere you can see here automatically visible the question mark right so once you hover here you cannot see anything but once you hover here you can see the full model and the specific field name okay so here in this case you can see this field is the tooltip also display the top of that and after that you can see the field metadata like what is the field name right what and what is that field model name the type of the field right the context in case it's invisible you can see also the invisible call an invisible request and sorry required and read only this basic information it will automatically display in each and every field right once you active the developer mode in case you don't know what is developer mode please check debug mode playlist i already explained so yeah so this is the purpose of the help right now let's talk about the default value by default the boolean field having a false value right so let's say in case i'm trying to use here default as a true so this default only works when the new records we are trying to create right so once i will click to the new you can see it will automatically checked so this is the main purpose of the default attribute okay and this at this default right it won't be work for the existing records yeah there is a one more scenario is there in case you are trying to add here a new field right like is demo fields dot boolean right and here let's say if you are trying to add the default value right and this is the completely a new field then would automatically use the default value as a true for all the existing records so this is the main difference here okay so now you can see let me refresh the screen and now you can see is demo default right and by default you can see for all the record you can see here the jacked right so please don't confuse here 
this is the tricky question also might be interview will we'll ask so yeah this is the default attribute let's talk about the xml side supported attribute so first one is the string you can also override whatsoever attribute you provide here right it will automatically you can override here string and let's say override paid label something like this and in this case you must have to restart the service you must need to upgrade the module all right because you change in the xml side and now you can see override paired label is here guys one more thing is here it's not working required equal to one okay this field is not at this attribute is not supported in the boolean field so let's see how so once i refresh the screen if i'm changing something and i can save the record right without check this boolean box why because this required attribute is not supported for the boolean field and there is a one more field is there one to many here also the required attribute is not supported in the xml as well as in the python side right now let's say might be you have a question then what is the alternate solution let's say you want to compulsory add a boolean box to tick always right so in this case you can just override create and the write method and in these methods you can just you can check the validation or another way is you can create one constraint in this model right so this is the two way you can add and the third one is like it's a lengthy process but yeah you can do you can create one widget and after that you can handle the required field over there right so yeah those are the solutions so here let's say in case i will use here invisible equal to one right sorry and uh, let's see that field should be automatically hide you can see that field is automatically hide here so another thing is the read only right and guys one more thing you have to remember is whenever you change anything in the xml side you must have to upgrade the module or else it won't be effect here and now you can see you cannot update this field anyhow right so yes so this is all about this boolean box in case you have any doubt related this boolean field please comment below and see you in our next session and our next session would be very interesting the selection field right the combo box so see you there